Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, thank you so much for watching. Today I am going to be doing a, I guess you could call it a fall makeup look. Um, I feel like just having the dark lip makes it a little bit more vampy. So if you want to make this look maybe a little bit less vampy and more wearable, then just uh, opt for a nude lip. So see when you take off the dark lip, it just... I guess it's a little bit more wearable. But um, like I said on my last video, this is where I kind this channel is kind of where I get a little bit more creative with my makeup. I don't wear this much makeup every single day or as dramatic as this, but um, it is really fun to take out my makeup and just play with it. Anyways, I am using, I don't know if I just said this, but I am using, again, the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, created this awesome um, halo smoky eye very easy I only used a couple of pro of colors in the palette um some lashes glitter I mean I guess the technique is a little bit easier than it sounds before we jump into the tutorial I just want to say that if you have any video request please leave them in the comments below so that way it's easier for me to come up and like to make these videos because sometimes um, I don't know, I don't feel inspired or I just don't have any idea what to do or to record for you. So let me know if you have any ideas and I will see you on my next video. Bye. I'm going to go ahead and start by doing the eyes. I already primed them, filled in my brows as well as cleaned up underneath my brows with just a little bit of concealer. Um, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Renaissance palette. I have been in love with this palette. I can't put it down. I really wanted to do a look using a different palette but I just couldn't figure it out. I'm going to start off with the color Tempera with a MAC 242 brush. I'm going to use this as my highlight. I really want to do um, a halo smoky eye for today. I haven't done one of those in a long time so I thought it would be perfect. And please if you have any video requests it was really hard for me to choose what kind of makeup look to do today. Please leave it in the comments below because I run out of ideas sometimes. Or even if you want me to do a look using a certain color, like green, purple, black, lavender, whatever color it may be, um, and that way I'll just take it from there. Alright, so I'm going to take a blending brush or a crease brush and raw sienna. I'm going to apply this on my crease and I'm going to blend it high enough to where whenever I'm opening my eye, you can still see that color. Because this is going to be our transition color. And you guys know I love doing more of an elongated look. I just feel it looks better on my eye shape. So I'm going to also extend it out almost to where my eyebrow stops. Alright guys, so the next color we're going to take is Cypress Umber, which is the darkest brown in the palette. I'm using my Makeup Forever 216 brush for this. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my outer corner and just kind of do patting motions. Right now I'm not really worried about blending, just depositing and placing the product where I want it. You want to make sure that you leave the center of your eye nice and clean to create that halo effect. I mean, if you accidentally go over it, it's totally fine. It's not going to ruin the look. You can always go cover it with the eyelid color. I went ahead and evened out both eyes. Now I'm going to take a MAC 221 brush. I love this brush. Um, Especially if you want to be very precise at blending or just applying product on a certain area of the eye. I'm going to go ahead and just very, very lightly blend out the edges. They're already kind of blended, blended out, but I just want to make them softer. I'm going to keep using the same brush. I'm just going to make sure and wipe off any product. And I'm probably going to use the color Warm Taupe from the palette. Let's see how this comes out. But I'm going to use this color... Um, more on the center to kind of connect the two dark colors together. I'm trying not to apply too much pressure and I'm also trying not to make 
this color darker or as dark as the corners of the eye. I want it to be just slightly lighter. I kind of want a little pop of color, so I'm probably going to mix the warm taupe with red ochre. And just very lightly go over that, just to warm up the crease a little bit. Okay, I feel like I like this a little bit better. Not sure if you can tell on camera, but I can definitely see like a hint of warmth on the crease. Okay, so now for the lid color, I'm going to be using a ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Sequin. Looks like this. I'm not really sure how to describe this color other than a dark rose gold. This is not going to be like the main color or product on the eyelid. I'm actually going to be putting a glitter on top, uh, but I just want a little bit of color on that area so the glitter doesn't look uneven. This actually doesn't look bad at all, so if you like this look, you can actually leave it like this, put on your lashes, do your complexion, and be done with it. Um, I want a little bit more glam, more sparkle on my eyes, so I'm going to be applying more shimmer, I mean glitter. I'm first going to use my Too Faced Glitter Glue on that area of my eye. You only need the tiniest amount. And before I apply the glitter onto my eyelids, I like to open up my glitter first just to have it ready because I like to apply it right after I pat that glitter glue onto the eyelid so it sticks on. So I take the glitter glue on my finger, try not to take too much, just a thin layer is enough. And then I just pat it over that area. I grab this Makeup Forever 224 brush which is basically like a silicone tip that holds the glitter really nicely. Oh, and the glitter that I'm using is Makeup Forever 15, number 15 glitter. I'm going to move on to applying eyeshadow underneath my eyes, but first, since I have a lot of fallout, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe all of that off. And just like you would do with your top lid, um, you want to prime the bottom of your eye as well. I notice whenever I skip that step and I just apply concealer and then go ahead and apply eyeshadow underneath my bottom lash line, it doesn't last. It rubs off within literally like 15 minutes. So I like to now take an eye primer and apply it, see, underneath my lash line. And usually what I do is I do my concealer first and then I will do this step. Um, but I'm going to try it like this. I'm going to do my eyes fully and then finish off my complexion, which I'm not going to show in camera because this video will be too long. All right, so if you want a softer look to your eyes, um, you can use a brown eyeliner instead of a black. I want a little bit more of drama on my eyes, so I'm going to use a black eyeliner. This one is my favorite one. It's by NARS. I got it in the Happy Birthday gift. From Sephora, it's a little bit dry because I'm almost out of it. Um, but I really love how dark it is and how it stays on. Okay, so I'm not gonna do a liquid eyeliner, but I still wanna define the top lash line just because I feel, I don't know, I just feel like it needs that. So I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Blackout Eyeshadow, which is my favorite black eyeshadow. If you guys haven't tried it, it's it beats every other eyeshadow out there. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply this with a eyeshadow brush, but I'm using just the tip of the eyeshadow brush to create a little bit more definition. Yes, I like this a lot better. It's softer, it's more of a smoky line than a really harsh line. Oh, and I almost forgot to apply eyeshadow to my bottom lashes, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, I'm going to do probably the Cypress Umber, which is a darker brown. Uh, this is my favorite brush of all time. I use it on myself, also on my clients, to apply um, like a smoky line underneath my eyes. And this is the Makeup Forever 238 brush.
Okay, so the look is coming together, which is great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara now. This one is the Benefit uh, There Are Real Eyelashes Mascara. Uh, there, it's not my favorite. I don't really care for mis for mascara. If I had to purchase this myself, um, which I didn't, this was still from when I used to work at Sephora, and we used to get a lot of free crap. I don't spend a lot of money on mascara. All right, so for lashes, I'm not really sure which ones to choose. I have all my used lashes in this lash case right here. <sighs> I'm trying to find a pair. Does anyone go through the struggle of this? I really want to use my Coco lashes in the style Goddess, but I know I use those lashes literally in every single one of my looks, so I want to switch it up. I think I'm going to use these right here. These are, I don't even know. These lashes I know for sure are from Mink Wink. Don't ask me how I know, I just know my lashes. I'm not really sure what style they are. I think they're bombshell, but they're really nice because they're they're mink lashes, so they're very comfortable on the eye. I almost feel like I need to cut a little bit of the lashes because they feel a little bit too long. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where I left the other eyelash. Oh, it was on my knee. Okay, so I'm back. I already did my complexion. Oh, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara to my bottom lashes since I skipped that step whenever I applied mascara to my top lashes because I didn't wanna get powder on my lashes after I did my complexion. Oh, and I also um, didn't show you in camera because I decided to add on this extra step when I was doing my complexion. This is the shimmery bronzer that I used on my complexion to just get that nice glow on my cheeks. And I also used a mixture of the lighter shade and the darker shade on the inner part of my eyes just to kind of add a little bit of a glow on that area. Oh, and by the way, this one's the Milani Tenalize fantastic face and body bronzer so yeah if you haven't tried this bronzer I love it so much I have really light skin it doesn't look orangey on me it just gives me a really beautiful bronzy glow okay and now for lips I really really want to do a nude lip just so the main focus is on the eyes I don't know I might still do a nude lip I just love love nude lips I feel like as I've gotten older like even since I stopped recording videos on YouTube or I was gone for, you know, the, the past four months, the way I see makeup and the way I feel about makeup, it's a lot different. Like, I just wear it differently, if that makes sense. Anyways, um, but since I have this Too Faced really pretty brown uh, liquid lipstick, and I haven't used it a lot. I thought it would look really pretty with this look. It's just gonna add a lot of drama. But I really want to do a nude. <laughs> Alright, I don't have a lip liner that matches this lipstick. I actually don't own a lot of lip liners, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. Woo! I look very vampy. I do like it. I still want to wear a nude. Um, but anyways, if you want to make it maybe a little bit more wearable for daytime, you can totally do a nude. Okay, it's starting to grow on me more. Alright guys, so that is all for this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this lip color. Um, also, if you recreate this look, make sure to follow me on Instagram and tag me there. You can follow me on Instagram as my YouTube name right here. I'll actually have my social media names on the description bar below. If you have any video requests for me, please leave it on the comments below. I'm actually really thinking and I really want to do the ride or die tag, so let me know what you think of that, how you feel. And I'm not sure if you guys know or not, but I am a professional makeup artist. I do do makeup on people for a living, um, which I totally love. I love doing makeup actually on other people way more than myself. Um, but anyways, I do event makeup, like bridal makeup, um, just any type of event, I do it all. If you're looking for a makeup artist and you're in the Houston area, uh, hit me up. 
Even if you're surrounding the Houston area, I'll still travel to you. I'll leave my email as well as my website on the description bar below so you can check out my work. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.